Welcome everyone, it's Diana, and today I want to speak about seeking the kingdom of God first. So Matthew 6 verse 33 says, But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So all the things that you need will be given to you as well if you seek the kingdom of God first. So what does this mean? How does it look when we seek the kingdom of God? So let's see what the word kingdom means in the Greek. So the word kingdom is the word basileia, and it means royal power, kingship, sovereignty, authority, rule. But the meaning of this word means royal power, kingship, dominion, and rule, but is not to be confused with an actual kingdom, but rather the right or authority to rule over a kingdom. So it's not connected to heaven. It's not connected to a place. It's connected to your dominion and kingship, royal power. It means that when you say, let it be on earth as it is in heaven, it means that we want God's kingdom to come. But God's kingdom is a matter of power. It says in 1 Corinthians 4 verse 20, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. So you see that the kingdom of God here is connected to power. So when you walk in power, when you walk in authority, when you say a thing and you command things to align and to come into being, then it means that you seek the kingdom of God first. God is executing in heaven and you ought to execute on earth so when you execute then things have to listen to your voice when you speak they have to come into being it means that seek the dominion that i have given you this is what the lord is actually telling you he's telling you to remember that he has given you dominion over this earth he's not saying beg me for things he's not saying you know to do other things like seek a job first seek this seek that seek the dominion that i have given you and then when you speak a word it has to come to you the lord has given me a vision about his church where his people were very tired so with that connected with this he gave me Joel verse 3, verse 10, and specifically this. Let the weak say, I am strong. I am strong. So how can I be strong if I rest in God? So I've been speaking a lot about rest. And why am I doing this? Because from a place of rest, we can be victorious. If we struggle all the time and we get out of the rest of God, then we cannot win anything. So we need to get back into God's presence. In that vision, I saw how the Lord sent angelic beings, hosts of angelic beings to fight for you. So when you spoke the word of God, this was like a decree, a command. And angelic beings are activated when you speak the word of God. And when you do this, you are ruling over the earth because you speak words and they have to come to pass. You are not struggling. You are in your power. So when the Lord was doing that, sending angelic beings to help his people, they could only access the help if they would rest in God and if they would seek the kingdom of God first, which means to focus on God's power. It means to access the power of God. Because again, let me read to you, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. So when we move in power, we see things shift. But when we do not move in a power, we do not see things shift. And when it's saying about it's not a matter of talk, it does not mean that talking is not important. Because the power of death and life is in your tongue. But it rather means we are not to be only about talking talking, 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 with no results, because faith without works is dead. So we ought to see something. When we speak, we ought to see results. So that's why the Lord is saying, come to me first. Give me the first time of your day. Give me the tithe, like the 10% of your income. Give me the first things, because if we do this, we honor God's rules. 
the rules that were set by God, they are important. And if we violate the rules set by God, then it means that we are not honoring God. We do not honor God. And when we do not do this, then we don't walk in dominion and in rulership. So in that vision, I was spending time with God and I was talking to God and he was showing me how when we speak, angelic beings take action. And the Lord is imputing their work on us, meaning that it's the same as if you did it. It means that they do it, but the Lord is imputing it on you as if you did it. It reminds me of a dream that I had where I saw Jesus. And I'm not going to tell you the entire dream, but I saw Jesus and we were basically one in that dream. And the enemy came. And when I was facing the enemy, I suddenly saw a sword in my hand, but I did not really know that it was my hand because I had to look and see that it was attached to me. In my mind, I asked myself, whose hand is this? But before the enemy came, the Lord came and we became one. So when I was facing the enemy, the Lord was already there. He was within me, like the Holy Spirit was in me. So I just cut the head of the enemy, but it was the Lord doing it, but he was doing it for me. So the Lord is doing things for you. He's cutting the head of the enemy through you with your hand. So he's going to use your hand. You are the hands and feet of the Lord. So whenever you do something, it's like, it's you, but it's the Lord, right? Because we are connected. And I want to tell you that the Lord is sending help. And when you sit in God's power and you seek the kingdom of God first, it literally means that you rule over your situation. You rule and have dominion over this earth. It means that you will not let the enemy take over. It means that you will just sit in God's presence and rest. This is what it means to seek God's kingdom first, because then nothing can, you know, disturb you. Nothing can steal away from you. If you are sitting in that place of authority with Christ, co-reigning with Christ, then nothing can shake you because you are hidden in Christ. And this means that the enemy, when he comes, you are always covered. The Lord always has you covered if you seek the kingdom of God first. And it means executing as he is executing in heaven. You ought to execute on the earth as he is executing in heaven. You literally have so much help from God that it's like beyond anything that you can even think of. Let me read to you from Luke chapter 22 verse 43. And it's about Jesus when he was praying before he went to the cross. And it says that an angel from heaven appeared to him and straightened him. So the Lord got help through an angel. And the Lord is sending us help to strengthen us. But you need to say, I am strong. I am getting help from heaven. Declarations are so important. It's important to speak the word of God. It's important to agree with what the Word of God says. Do not let this pass you by. Do not say it's not important what I'm saying. Just always think about what you're speaking. What are you speaking over yourself? Because the Lord is ready to send you help, but can you receive it? Sometimes we need to align our thoughts, our speech with the Word of God in order to be able to receive. That's seeking first the kingdom of God. I want to read to you another Bible verse, and that's from 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 16. And it's about Elisha and his servant. So when his servant woke up, he saw an army that were against them. And Elisha then said, Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. They are more for us than against us. So when you feel overpowered, when you feel overwhelmed, seek first the kingdom of God. Remember the dominion that the Lord has given you. Remember that the Lord said, you shall reign on this earth as he is in heaven. 
So your word, your declaration is important. What you decree is important. So when you seek this first, then all the other things are going to come to you. They will align. That's it for this word. I hope that it encouraged you. Share this with someone if it has. If you want to sow a seed of agreement, then you will find the link in the description box. Many blessings. Love you guys and talk to you soon.